Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I posted this look on Instagram a few days ago and everyone wanted a tutorial on it, which I'm kind of taken back by because honestly, I like copied people for this look. Um, I was looking at Instagram models like Meredith and Suede and like all of their friends and stuff and I was like thinking about it and I was like, I love their makeup, like I want to do a look inspired by them. So I did it, um, just like playing around, took some pictures, put one on Instagram and everyone was like, oh my god, yes, and like your hair is to die, like this look is to die, like this is your look. And everyone was like kind of going crazy about it and Suede even liked it and like commented on it, which made me think like, oh, I guess I did her look right because it was Suede's look. So Suede, if you're watching this, uh, thanks, you inspired it. <laughs> my hair is natural and I hate my natural hair, but everyone's like, yes, like you slay it, like you love it, and I'm like, okay. So this is my natural hair right now. Um, I'm also in like an oversized hoodie type of deal. If you guys are new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. I upload makeup videos all the time. And if you guys are here for this, then you're gonna love all my other videos too. Um, my hair normally looks better than this, so subscribe for better hair days. I guess without further ado, let's get on to how to look like an Instagram model. Here we go. So, Instagram, the one thing that I've noticed about Instagram models, like, okay, these aren't just girls that think that they're models on Instagram. This is, like, models, you know what I mean? It's, like, Suede, Meredith, like, all of them. Um, they all look gorge all the time, and I did a makeup look, and everyone kind of wanted to see it. So I noticed that it's really all about, like, the skin for them. So the first thing that I'm going to do is moisturize my skin with the Glam Glow Glow Starter Mega Illuminating Moisturizer. And you really want like glowy skin. And honestly, like I've been doing this look for the past few days and I know why they do it. It's just so healthy and radiant looking and just like naturally gorge and like really pretty and really nice. And then I'm gonna take the Mario Badescu Facial Spray. This is like a key. I literally use this so many times during the video. Facial spray has set in place. I then go in with a primer. This is the Coconut Skin Smoothing Priming Moisturizer. So now we're gonna move on to foundation. And this is kind of key because I've done this looks using multiple foundations and tinted moisturizers, baby creams, whatever. And I find that this combo is the best one for like natural looking skin that still looks really nice and smooth but still looks like skin because that's a really important part of this is to not be caked up with makeup, like having the look of being caked up by makeup. Um, I've tried this with full coverage foundations and normal foundations and a full coverage foundation just really doesn't look right with this look. So that's why I like this combo the best. I use the Smashbox Camera Ready BB Water, and then I mix it with the Smashbox Photo Finish Priming Oil. Whatever oil you guys have works. You totally don't need to use an oil if you're oily. So I just mix it on the back of my hand. And then just start buffing it in with your brush. I also like to wet this a little bit with the rose water spray. And then go in to buff it. You guys know what I do. And then I go in with a liquid bronzer. You can use any that you have. Um, the Benefit Do the Hula is really nice. I just picked this up, so I'm using it. It's a Santa Soleil Tan de Chanel. I'm using that with the same brush. Just pick this product up. And it is really light, which is really nice because you can't use too much of it. It really just adds warmth to your complexion. So I'm just putting this on my cheekbones, up on my temple. Pretty much wherever I would bronze, I'm going to put this. Using creams is like honestly the way to stay luminous and glowy. For concealer, I take the Too Faced Born This Way concealer in the shade Light. I really like that, but that's literally all the concealer that I put on. <laughs> so I go really natural for this look, and I think it's really gorge. And then I just blend this in with my finger, and any leftover goes on the lid. And then to set, all I'm gonna do is set underneath my eyes, on my eyelids, and anywhere else that kind of creases throughout the day. 
I use the RCMA No Color Powder. So I take this underneath the eyes. For highlighter, this is the best highlighter that I found to get like that look that all the girls on Instagram have. Um, and it's Champagne Pop by Becca. To do this, I spray the side of my face. And then I spray my brush. And then I dip it in. And then while everything's setting, I go in and highlight above the eyebrow and underneath the brow. I also take this on my upper lip and down the center of my nose. For blush, I take Orgasm by NARS. It's a peachy pink color that has the gold accents that match our highlighter. Then I go with any makeup setting spray. This is Model in a Bottle. Eyebrows are just so important for this. So I'm gonna use the Anastasia Brow Wiz and I'm going to comb my brows up, flip it over and I'm going to underline my brows. And then I'm gonna comb them back. Then I go in with a tinted brow gel. This is Gimme Brow by Benefit. And I pretty much just do the same thing and comb them up. Personally, messy brows kind of drive me crazy. Like, I just want to go in and like define them and kind of fix them and stuff. But it's the look. You know, it's natural, messy, kind of just like combed out brows. Drives me a little bit insane. But anything for makeup. Lids, normally I notice that it's just like a darker pink look and in my opinion, I think it's just their stained lids, but mine isn't very dark. So I just go in and I put a gold shadow on it. This is a NARS Duo in Ice, Ice Old. I don't really know. I just mix these two. Any dark pink, dark gold, whatever you have, just throw this on. Well, it actually shouldn't be neat because we're just creating the look of stained lids. And then I take a 224 and I just blend it out. For lashes, a lot of times they don't wear fake eyelashes. I'll show you what it looks like without fake lashes and then you can decide if you want to put on fake eyelashes or not. I normally love fake lashes because my natural lashes suck and a lot of these models are honestly just blessed with like gorgeous lashes. Alright, so this is it. No falsies. And then I'll show it to you with like the lips completed and then you guys can decide if you want falsies or not. And then for lips, I like to go in with the nude. You can keep it just like this. You can pretty much do whatever you want. But I like a good nude. So this is the NYX Lingerie line in Satin Ribbon. I just put a little bit on. And then pat it in. So this is it without lashes, but like I said, I'm all about the lashes. And then I'm just going to throw on a pair of Ardell Wispies. Then 
Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys all enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and also be sure to check right here. I always point the wrong way. Check right here for how to be an Instagram baddie. It's kind of funny. And then up here, I have another video just for you guys that I know you guys are going to love. So thanks so much. I'll talk to you guys on the next video. Bye.